Uh, it's very important. Um, having their, just the way they're playing, they're attracting a lot of defensive attention. So just to have other people that can step up and score is, is just very helpful for the team overall. And in the past three games, I mean, nobody's really done anything different. We just, you know, we played hard as a team and we got good results. And it just happened that other people besides them were the leading scorers. And I don't think they did anything different. I don't think we really did anything different except play hard. Yeah, so this one you guys have felt kind of going on, uh, you know, for uh, four years or some time as, as the season's gone on. Obviously, you've been, you've been pretty consistent this year in terms of your scoring numbers. You know, but like Sheldon coming out with big game. I mean, have you guys felt for most of the year that you're capable of doing things like this where guys can, you know, your third or fourth or fifth lane scores can get 20 points in a game? I definitely felt that all year, and I, I know it can continue, and maybe it could have happened more in the past, it just didn't. But from here going on, I think it is very true that we have players all across that can score 20 on any given night. And um, the other day against Florida State, we just took advantage of a, um, of a matchup and Sheldon did a very good job of that and was extremely efficient. And that really helped us. So if we can continue doing that, like exploiting matchup uh, strengths that we have, then, it would be, then we'll be pretty good off. Okay, and the starting five, I mean, especially with Ryan being out, you guys have had to play a lot of minutes. Mm -hmm. um, that work you put in the off season with, with uh, Coach Christopher, how big was that to kind of get you ready for this grind? You know? Very big. Um, Coach G, he really emphasizes movement-based um, patterns and stuff, and we incorporate a lot of movement-based stuff so that we avoid injury. Um, a lot of our training has gone to us being able to withstand a run like this, playing a lot of minutes. So he's, we're definitely well prepared, well conditioned. Um, I think we've done a pretty good job of avoiding significant injuries in terms of just from over fatigue. I'm, I know Ryan went down and that one's tough to handle, but I think overall he has helped us a tremendous amount. Have you, have you really seen a difference, sorry, Jerry. Have yeah. you really seen a difference, I mean, not only in yourself, but in your teammates, I mean, how physically different they are, you know? Yes, yes. I see a big difference in terms of conditioning. Um, it's a lot of minutes to play, and it's a, and practice is very up-tempo. And we get out there, and we play hard. And it doesn't really seem like anybody's too, too tired. So we he, we got in pretty good shape with that. And physically, I mean, we got we got some strong players. Mike is, has always been extremely strong, and he's still extremely strong. Sheldon is uh, very, very strong. and. I think everybody has just improved their athleticism and their strength. Sort of along those same lines, um, you know, you guys did get a little more of a breather the other day with the bench. Uh, you know, Coach Stallings used them pretty early. Do you feel like those guys are, are taking strides and in, in making themselves uh, bigger contributors, or do you think that's kind of something they always had in them? I think both. It's something they always had in them, and right now they're starting to just put it into, into uh, effect into the games. And it's, it's definitely something they've always had in them. And they got the opportunity on Saturday to really make a big impact on the game. And everybody knew we were going to incorporate the bench more. Everybody within our team knew we were going to incorporate the bench more. And so everybody was just prepared. I mean, I had full faith in everybody when they stepped on the court. So I, I wasn't surprised by the fact that they, the bench contributed more. And it was, it was very good for our team. Kim, uh, Kevin said uh, after game Saturday that the practices weren't great leading up to the game. Because what happened against Virginia Tech and the shoot around wasn't great, but you guys played great. I mean, how do you, how does that happen when you don't practice real great, but you play pretty good? Well, the Virginia Tech loss really hurt us. It was really frustrating because it was one that we should have obviously won. And I wouldn't say our practices and stuff were terrible to the point where it would have been impossible for us to bounce back. But we came into the game Saturday, and as soon as we stepped into the locker room and you know, we embraced that little retro feel we had going on, and the students were there, and that, that gave us a big energy boost. Uh, the Oakland Zoo was at full strength, and just running out onto the court, you know, with that, with that different kind of feel, a nice Saturday afternoon where you got a lot of fan support, it, it really gave us an extra boost, and it really pushed us to play as hard as we can and give it our all, and I think that's what we did. On the road, though, you won't have, won't have that advantage. I think at this point, we know what's at stake, and we will come out and play with that same energy. I think just knowing that after a game like this, like this is the, this is the output we can get if we put in this type of work and energy, and I think we'll look to replicate those results in this little road stretch we have. 
going back to the, the bench helping you guys out, uh, as a guy who used to be in that spot coming off the bench and maybe not knowing how much you were going to play, how do you just stay ready, uh, especially at a level like the ACC when you have to come in? That's exactly it. You just have to stay ready. You have to um, – you, you got to stay – in tune with the game, even if you don't get in until halfway through the first half. It is it is difficult sometimes to just wait in anticipation. You know, you're loose before the game. You're sitting on the bench for a while. You can get pretty tight and you get into the flow of the game. You're not quite, you know, you're not quite there yet as soon as you get into the game. Like, everybody's been playing. Like, so it's, it's, it's definitely big to keep that positive mindset and to just focus on getting in there and contributing any way possible, whether it just be running a play correctly or getting a, a stop on defense or just being in a gap. So those are things that anybody can focus on when they get into a game. And I think our bench has done a pretty good job of that in the last game. When you guys go from beating Syracuse and then losing to, uh, to Virginia Tech in the way you did and then turning around from that and beating a top 20 team in, in the floor state, you know, from the outside, though, that looks like kind of an inconsistent set of games. I mean, for you guys as a team, do you feel like you all have sort of an accurate gauge of how you guys will play going into each game? Yes, I think we do. Um, we, we had a good first half against Virginia Tech. We played well. So it was just that second half that really, uh, that really killed us. So I don't think that is something that we look at and think that's who we are. We look at it the opposite way. The game we played against Syracuse, the game we played the first half against Virginia Tech, the game we played against Florida State. I think that's who we look at, and we're like, that's the team we are. We know that's the team we are. And that's the team that we will try to bring out every night, and we will in these next coming games. Does that, does that Virginia Tech loss, you know, this is just hindsight here, does it become that much more frustrating to kind of look at knowing that, hey, if we were to play better in the second half, we'd be riding a four game win streak, we'd just be the really talented team. And it's honestly a little bit frustrating, but that's not something we can't really look back on now. I mean, it's in the past. All we can do is work to win the games in the future. So, I mean, at the very minimum, we should think about it as motivation to go out and, and get as many as we can in these next four, go out and be North Carolina, Georgia Tech, uh, Wake Forest, and Virginia. Just knowing that we dropped some that we should have won, we're just now like, okay, let's go win some that people might not expect us to win. I feel like you're becoming a more well-rounded player. I mean, you've always been a guy who can spot up and hit some shots, but you know, lately you've been rebounding it more, uh, getting some more assists, sort of filling the stat line. Um, I, I guess you can say that it's becoming more well-rounded, but it's, it's honestly just us as a team playing better. Um, opportunities are there for everybody, and if we just work together, things will happen. Uh, just happened to be in the right time, uh, right place at the right time for a couple of rebounds in the past couple of games. So I don't really think anything different has really happened there. It's just, it's just uh, natural, um, natural progress. You know, just learning the game more, getting more comfortable playing. It's all that's happening. The fact you guys were able to sustain that energy and focus for 40 minutes against Florida State. I mean, how much can you guys kind of look at that, look at the model, and kind of carry it over for the next, you know, four games and finish out the regular season? Uh, we saw what it takes to beat them. Uh, it took a real effort for every minute of the game, and we looked at each other at different points of the game. It's like we got to step up our energy. Even if it, we thought it was that match, we have to step it up. And obviously we learned our lesson from that Virginia Tech loss. Uh, Florida State cut it to two at one point. They cut it to three, then they cut it to two. And we're looking at each other like, you know what, Like it's not going to happen again. We're going to step it up. And we did, we did that this time. So we just – it went a long way in showing ourselves that, look, we can – we can do this. We can really, really beat a team, even if they make a push in the second half. Cam, I don't think there's a lot of teams in the country with four seniors in the starting lineup. What's it been like for you being the young guy in that group? It's been great. Uh, those guys have been around a long time, so they have a lot of knowledge. And whether it's just practice in the games, their approach, I learned a lot from them. I learned a lot from them this year. I learned a lot from them um, my past two years here. So I think it's it's really been a blessing for me to have four guys like that around me that I can play with. And uh, I just want to make this final run as great as we can for them. And they deserve to go out in a great way. So we just, as a team, want to win the next four games and pick up some steam in the ACC tournament and possible other postseason opportunities just for them and make them go out and, in a great way. What do you think, Cam? You were talking about things that you've learned from them. What do you think from that group's been the biggest lesson? I'm just 
bringing an attitude of, of um, hard work every day, the way they approach the game. They, they all take it very seriously. Um, they all put a lot of time into the gym, and they all, they all really work hard at this game, and they, they, they've put a lot into it these past four years here. So just in terms of you know, little leadership things, um, taking control, taking advantage of opportunities is a lot I learned from them.